So we just made it to Washington, D.C. We're staying here with our aunt, and it's Christmas time, hence the Christmas sweater. We're staying in the Cleveland Park area, which is around where the zoo is, so we'll definitely be checking out the zoo while we're here. And so we're really excited because we haven't been here together in D.C. for a long time, so we're going to check out a lot of the really popular museums and the monuments and do some of the more fun touristy things in addition to Christmas stuff. So I think today we're going to go to the portrait gallery. Metro to Gallery Place and first stopped at the Downtown Holiday Market. This annual market features regional artisans, crafters, and boutique businesses sharing handmade and ethically produced products. The market is a great opportunity to support local businesses during the holidays and we bought some neighborhood prints from Cherry Blossom Creative. We then explored the National Portrait Gallery, one of several art museums within the Smithsonian Institution, but the only one focused on portraits of people who have made significant contributions to the United States. We toured an exhibit celebrating the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment and the Hall of America's Presidents. We had the opportunity to see the portraits of President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama for the first time. It's really cute because they have a model train exhibit and little trees that have been decorated by children from each state. So it's our second day here in DC and today we're going to go check out some of the museums that we want to see. Yeah, we have a whole agenda of different museums and exhibits we're interested yeah. in seeing. Our first stop is going to be at the Museum, which mm -hmm. is a, a museum that's all based around journalism and the First Amendment. And um, this is particularly appropriate because we had some it's a big, pretty big uh, historical <laughs> things happen yesterday. Yeah. And so we're really interested to see what might be on display at the museum in general. This museum is also closing at the end of the year, unfortunately, so we want to try to see as much of it as we can. And then after that, there are a couple of other exhibits we're interested in checking out, as well as some light shows later tonight yeah. for the Christmas season. We're going to go to breakfast, so yeah. we'll yeah. see you there. So we're going to take the metro downtown because we just got done with a really good breakfast and we're going to head to the museum. The museum. This is a museum dedicated to uh, preserving the history of journalism and the First Amendment rights. Uh, the First Amendment rights are put appropriately on the wall outside the museum. The museum is also located on Pennsylvania Avenue, so just a short walk from the Capitol building and other interesting sites like the National Archives and the Smithsonian Museums.
We're now going to go into the National Archives. This is a really important building that uh, houses historical records from the United States government. And uh, inside the National Archives, you can see some of the founding documents like the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. They also have a gallery of changing exhibits, and right now their gallery is featuring an exhibit about the 19th Amendment and the right to vote. So we're going to go inside and, and see what we can see. <laughs> finished our visit to the National Archives. They didn't allow photography or video inside, but we did really enjoy the exhibits about the 19th Amendment and the rotunda that featured the founding documents. We're going out to dinner next, but we're also really going to enjoy walking around a little bit of the city. How's the hot chocolate? Very good. Very good. It's really chilly out today. <laughs> this is a Christmas. So after searching for, I don't even know how long, we finally found the last reindeer cupid. And we weren't even trying to look at this point. And we just came home. So. We got them all now. <laughs> at the Christmas maze and we were able to find all the reindeer which we were really happy about. We just did a little bit of shopping too at the Christmas market and we bought a few ornaments from Flatboat Fair Trades. They're actually a little shop based in Pittsburgh which is kind of funny. Um, but we got these cute little animal ornaments. So each of the little ornaments is hand painted and carved in Lake at Lake Nicaragua. So it's kind of like a fair trade artisan support. So we're supporting local artists and getting cute Christmas ones. This morning we're going to go to the Natural History Museum and see the newly renovated fossil exhibit. And then it's Star Wars Day today here in the United States. The new Star Wars movie has been released, so we're going to go see it at the IMAX Theater at the Air and Space Museum, which is what we did a couple of years ago when the first movie of the new trilogy came out. And then I think tonight we're going to do the zoo light exhibit where they decorate the zoo with Christmas lights and you can still see some of the animals if they're out. Welcome to the National Museum of Natural History. This is a museum all dedicated to natural wonders. That includes um, animal specimens, geology, fossils, uh, anthropological collections. 
There are over 127 million objects in this museum's collection and only a very small percentage of them are on display. In fact, only a small percentage of them are actually housed in this building. There are other off-site storages where the collections are held too. This building was built in 1910 as part of what was called the Macmillan Plan, which helped plan the National Mall. The first buildings that were related to the Smithsonian were the Smithsonian Castle and the Arts and Industries Building, but they very quickly outgrew those buildings and started building other museums specifically dedicated to things like natural history, space travel, art and portrait galleries. So uh, we're really excited to check out some of the exhibits that are in the Natural History Museum today. They have changing galleries as well as permanent exhibits that are here too. So we're going to start exploring. Museum, one of our favorite museums here on the National Mall. It's all dedicated to the history and science of flight, including both in the air and in outer space. They've got great exhibits that include things like the Wright brothers on their first plane, all the way to Neil Armstrong's spacesuit on Apollo 11, as well as modern flight and space travel as well. So we're going to see the new Star Wars movie, which we are so excited about, in IMAX, which you can't get better than that. Um, and so we're going to go check out some exhibits and then see the movie. Now 
Now we're exploring the National Mall. The National Mall is also considered America's front yard. It includes some really important civic buildings like the United States Capitol behind me, as well as different memorials, monuments, and museums that tell the story of the United States. The National Mall is also part of the National Park Service too. So if you go to different sites, you might be able to get your National Park uh, book stamped. Um, and of course, there are all kinds of museums here that you can explore, ones that talk about history, natural history, art, and so there's no shortage of, of really interesting things to do here. Now we're in front of the United States Capitol building. This is the building where the legislative branch of the U.S. government is based. The other branches of government are the executive branch at the White House and the U.S. Supreme Court at the U.S. Supreme Court building. This building, you might notice, is actually on a slight hill. Everywhere else in the National Mall is really flat, but this was built specifically on a hill. Although all three branches of government are equal, this uh, building was built on a hill because it represents the people of the United States, so they kind of want that building to sort of be overlooking everything. Um, it's also why it's called Capitol Hill too. In front of the Capitol building we also have the Christmas tree which we're going to check out now. Every year a different national forest is selected to provide a tree for the Capitol building's west lawn. The 2019 Capitol Christmas tree was from Carson National Forest in New Mexico and decorated by the state's school children. then headed over to the sculpture garden and had fun ice skating next to the National Archives. We ended the night by meeting up with our aunt to go to Zoo Lights, a light festival at the National Zoo. Half a million brightly colored, environmentally friendly LEDs and light up animals turn the National Zoo into a winter wonderland each holiday season. So it's another day here in Washington, D.C., and I think today what we're going to go do is go to the National Geographic Museum that has rotating exhibits, and this time they're highlighting Jane Goodall. Yesterday we didn't finish going through the Natural History Museum exhibit, like the fossil exhibit, and there were a couple other ones that we didn't even get to see because they were just so extensive, so we're going to head back there this afternoon. We first visited the National Geographic Museum a few blocks from the Farragut North Metro Station. We loved their exhibit exploring the life and work of primatologist and conservationist Jane Goodall. As an organization known for its powerful photography, we also enjoyed an exhibit of women's portraits by women photographers. Next, we headed back to the Museum of Natural History and learned about narwhals, their Arctic world, and their role in Inuit culture. We ended by visiting an exhibit about epidemics in medicine. On our last morning in D.C., we went with our aunt to the National Zoo, one of the oldest zoos in the United States, founded in 1889 as part of the Smithsonian Institution's collection of living animals. We learned about animals from around the world on the Asia Trail and American Trail. We always love our visits to DC and cannot wait until we can visit again.